Hey, my beautiful Virgo gang, what's happening? What's crackalacking and what's popping, baby? It's your boy, Afro Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your mid May 15th through the 31st mid month tarot reading. I hope you guys are well, and if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you're more than welcome to. All that information is going to be linked down in the description box down below. So, with that all being said, let's go ahead and get it cracking and see what we got going on for my beautiful and amazing virgo gang messages for team virgo please sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 2021 what do we got coming in here for team virgo virgo sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 15th through the 31st messages for virgo here virgo sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 15th through the 31st. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and check it out, man. Let's see what we got going on. Hopefully, we got some pretty fantastic stiff. Virgo, overall energy for you guys here is showing up as the Three of Pentacles. You can be connecting possibly here with an Earth sign, a Taurus, a fellow Virgo, or a Capricorn. Taking a look at your current energy, we do have here the Queen of Wands. Person you're dealing with, we do have here the Temperance. And then the outcome that's present, we do have here the Queen of Cups. I definitely feel a very strong presence of healing and empowerment for you guys, especially moving throughout the second half of May. I mean, the Three of Pentacles is I'm picking up all the pieces, right? There are things that have happened in my life to a point where I felt like I was shattered, but I'm now picking up my pieces. I'm becoming more empowered in who I am. I definitely feel like the Queen of Wands energy is feeling yourself a lot more. So whereas maybe in your past you were dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of insecurities or dealing with not loving yourself, you know, moving into mid-May here, you're looking at yourself in a much more empowered way. You're looking at yourself as a much more worthy person. So that's a really beautiful thing to see for you. You're really focusing on picking up the pieces here. You're like, no, I'm not shattered and I'm not going to be shattered. I'm going to make sure I pick up the pieces that have fell and I'm going to put myself back together. Now, taking a look at who you're dealing with, we do have here the temperance card, which I do want to get some clarity on. You might be connecting with a Sagittarius. So let's get some clarity here. What's going on with the temperance? Why is the temperance showing up for the person that Virgo is dealing with here throughout mid-May 2021? And what do we have? We have here the King of Wands, and you also have the Emperor card come out. So this is where things get pretty interesting. Um, it could be an Aries you're dealing with as well. Looking at this person's energy, you know, the King of Wands, it's a very interesting card for me because a lot of people look at it as like fast, passionate action. I kind of look at it as somebody who's calculated, at least in this perspective. I feel like this is somebody who's calculated. I mean, looking at the King of Wands, I always feel like it's a king that can't be trusted. So you're kind of connecting with this energy of somebody who is going to take this passionate action towards you. But... I just feel like it can't be trusted. I mean, with the Emperor card pairing that, that's kind of the energy of it's my way or the highway. So you could be connecting with somebody here who knows what they want with you, but there's also this sense of needing control. Because when you look at the Emperor, the Emperor card oftenly does talk about being in control. So I kind of feel like who you're connecting with here wants to take action to get power back. Is this power over you? Dominion over you? You know, what is this kind of energy that this person is trying to portray? Uh, so Virgos, I'd be very mindful with the person you're connecting with because they're showing up as a temperance. Temperance is a very positive card. Temperance is the card of somebody wanting to heal something, right? Somebody wanting to be on good terms with you, wanting to heal the connection, wanting to be in a much more positive place. So they want to work on this with you. But when you look under this temperance card, it seems to me like their true intentions is somebody's trying to gain back or regain control. Somebody here is trying to have power. And looking at the outcome that's present, how do they gain that power? They use it through emotion, Queen of Cups, through love. So Virgos, I would be really mindful, guys, of whoever this temperance is. You know, um, I'm trying to think of a saying. There's two things that come to mind. First is rose-tinted glasses. Don't have your rose-tinted glasses on with whoever this person is. Make sure that you see through the cracks, you see through the BS. Um, but there's something else coming through here for you, too. They're showing up as this energy as their gold, but the truth is, is they're pyrite. If you know what pyrite is, pyrite is fool's gold. So just be careful with that, okay? That's what I got so far in this person. So they're coming through like they're gold, aka they're coming through like they're genuine, but at the end of the day, they're pyrite, they're fool's gold. They have an agenda here. I definitely feel like that King of Wands and that Emperor, they're taking here this passionate action, but also to regain some sort of control. All right, so 
what I'm going to do here, Virgo, is I'm going to go over the person you're dealing with. I'll take a look and see how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout mid-May 2021. Then I'm going to take a look and see how you feel towards them, what's going on with you throughout mid-May. We'll see where energies align, and then we'll see the outcome, okay? Now, in regards to the person Virgo is dealing with, how does this person feel towards Virgo? And what is going on with this individual throughout mid-May 2021? How does the person that Virgo is dealing with feel towards Virgo? And what is going on with this individual throughout mid-May 2021? First card out, we have here the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, next card after that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have here the Nine of Wands. We have here the Three of Wands. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles. So looking at the energy so far, Ten of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. This person's looking for things to go in their favor, but I'm hearing this time around. So I don't feel like the person you're dealing with, Virgo, is anybody new. I think this is somebody you've encountered before. So they want things to go well this time around, is what I'm seeing here. Taking a look at the other two cards that we have, we have here the Nine of Wands, and then we have here the Three of Wands, okay? So what's interesting about this is that what they've been hiding from you, Virgo, is that they've been waiting for you. This person has been waiting to hear from you. They've been waiting for you to contact them. They've been hoping that you would contact them. Because when you look at the nine of wands minus the three of wands, that creates the six of wands. The six of wands is all about success. What would have worked for this person to have that power dynamic over you would be for you to reach out to them. But considering that you've been empowered, Virgo, considering that you've been working on yourself, healing yourself, fixing yourself, you haven't paid any mind or any attention to this person. So they were kind of hoping that you would because they were like, oh, well, if Virgo reaches out to me first, it shows me that Virgo still cares and that I still have some sort of power here, okay? So that's how your person was feeling. That's what they wanted from you. So they were waiting for you to communicate for quite a long time. But then they realized, well, Virgo's not communicating here, so I'm gonna have to take action into my own hands, Queen of Pentacles. I'm gonna have to be the one to offer up a conversation and see where things can potentially go. So this person here, Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, they wanna present themselves as I have changed and I'm gonna make everything great this second go around. They are showing up here as pyrites, even though, or they're trying to show up as gold, but they are fool's gold, okay? That's the energy I keep getting with your person. All right, uh, let's go ahead and pull two more cards for this individual's feelings. We have here the Knight of Wands, and then we also have here the Two of Cups. Yeah, they want to rush back into some sort of relationship with you, but at the same time, it's like, it feels very toxic. Because, granted, I can see that this person does have some genuine feelings for you. I can see that this person does, like, genuinely love you and care for you, but they also have this ego to them, this, like power trip dynamic kind of energy where they need to be the ones in control and i find that very toxic so i don't know but i'm going to try not to let my judgment get too much into the reading right because you know that's not for me to judge that's for you guys to judge but just based off what i am feeling it does feel a little toxic to me okay now in regards to what's going on with the person virgo's dealing with throughout mid-may 2021 let's take a look virgo sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 2021 What's going on with the person Virgo is dealing with? And we got here the Queen of Swords. We got here the Seven of Pentacles. And we got here the Tower. Yeah, so they're going to be taking action towards you, Virgo, because they can't be patient anymore. All right? Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. They have no more patience left within them. They want to work this, rush it, and, you know, surprise, tower card, you know, bang right back into your life. That's what this person's energy is showing up as. So, yeah, remember how I said they were waiting on you for a while because if you messaged first, it would show that you were vulnerable and cared, and then they would try to take advantage of that vulnerability to have control? Well, because that didn't work out, they were realizing, I can't keep waiting on Virgo to message me or to come back into my life because, Virgo, they've been seeing you glowing up. Okay, don't think for a second this person hasn't been watching on the sidelines. They've been watching you. They've been looking at your, you know, social media, your Snapchat, your Instagram, your Twitter. Okay, this person's been keeping eyes on you. So they've been paying attention to how you've been taking care of yourself and how you've been glowing up. So with that being said, they know that they didn't have much of a time window to keep on waiting for you because they know that you would only continue to move on even further and they would lose their chance to win you back. So this person here saw that time was not on their side and that you were continuously progressing. So they figured it's now or never. Let me message Virgo. Let me surprise and jump right back into the life head on in and see what I can do. 
So that's kind of what's going on here. That's kind of this person's agenda besides the whole control thing. Um, they wanted to come back in swiftly because they saw you were moving forward. You know, they saw that you were, you were going, you were ready to set yourself free. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your side of things, guys. What's going on for the Virgos? How does Virgo feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Virgo throughout mid-May 2021? How does Virgo feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Virgo throughout mid-May 2021? All right, guys, let's go ahead here and take a look. What do we have? We have here the two of pentacles. Yeah, so looking at your feelings here, I think that you are not interested in re-entering this cycle. And there is one reason I say that. Looking at the card over here, right? You have this man who's holding the two of pentacles. You also have this rainbow. But when you look what's behind this man, there's a ship. And if you take a look at the three of wands, guys, the three of wands is a card that people usually reference as, oh, look, my ships are coming in. So Virgos, I think you're more interested in what's coming in for you in the future. That's why you're not looking to see what's at the end of the rainbow. So what I'm seeing here for you guys is, is you're not looking to reinvest in the cycle. Sure, you're under the rainbow, but you don't want to go to the end of the rainbow, aka, X, or AKA go back to the X. You want to see what's behind you. You want to see what's coming in for you moving forward. So to be completely honest, I don't think a lot of you guys are interested if this person does come back and messages you. I don't think you're interested in pursuing anything with them. I really think you're interested in seeing what ships are coming in for you, what new beginnings are coming in for you. Yeah, you're just looking for happiness, guys. Three of Cups. Adventures, joyous times. You know, this is hanging out with friends too. You're probably spending a lot more time with your friends, Virgo especially after you've gotten out of this relationship with this person. So you're making a lot more close friendships or you're focusing on maintaining more close friendships. I just feel like you want to spend time being around a good crowd, being around a good environment. Okay. Uh, we also have your 10 of cups. Yeah. So you just want to be around the most emotionally fulfilling environment as you can. You want to have a good support group and a good system. You don't really care too much for this person or going back to um, the relationship that you shared with them. Uh, we had king of cups. We have your judgment. And then we have here the world card, yeah. So as far as your feelings look, Virgo, I just think that you want quality people in your life. That's really all that you're focusing on. Whether or not the quality people you meet are potential love interests or even just friends, you're content with that right now. I don't see you guys like rushing to find a new uh, person to date. I don't see you guys rushing to find your husband or your wife. You know, you're just having as much fun as possible, being in the best environment as you can while you continue to work on yourself, while you continue to pick up the pieces that you feel were once shattered. So this whole second half of the month for you is about rebuilding. You're rebuilding yourself. You're making sure that you're more empowered in who you are. You're making sure that you're hanging around a good crowd, a positive crowd, a positive environment. And overall, you're making sure that you're enjoying your life and making your life what you want it to be. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are striving right now to create the life that you want to live um, especially what you'll be dominating is like especially your career you'll be dominating your friendships so you're probably going to be making a lot more friendships like your social life Virgo I definitely feel in the second half of May you're going to be a lot more of a social butterfly because it helps to be around a good environment because you also get people that can help you kind of you know sway any sort of temptation especially with this individual trying to come back and gain some sort of control over you okay um, especially if you confide in these new types of friendships that you have or the friendships that you do have I think they would all warn you not to get involved with whoever this uh, emperor is and um, whoever this X energy is, okay? Uh, so as far as what I'm seeing for your second half of the month, you're a lot more confident in the person that you are. You've been picking up the pieces you felt were shattered. You definitely seem to be involved in a much more positive environment, being surrounded by so much more better people for you. You seem to be having fun and dominating your career. Like you're just dominating your life in regards to getting things that you've always wanted. You're working really hard to have that because you no longer have something toxic that's kind of in the way of your happiness. So things feel good without this person, guys. Things feel really good. Um, in regards to what's going on with Virgo, throughout mid-May 2021, we have here the Four of Swords, we have here the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have here the Page of Cups. Yeah, I think that you're just taking things very slow. You're taking things as they come and as they go. It doesn't look to me like you're trying to rush in any new relationship, especially after you walked away from this person. 
definitely seems to me like, you know, romance is still a little fresh after you got out of this relationship. So like right now, you're just not in a place where that's something you really want. I think what you want most importantly is stability. So Virgo, the only way that you're going to accept new love is if somebody shows you stability. If somebody actually shows you know, the act or takes the actions behind the words they provide. You know, you want somebody who not only is super kind to you, but knows how to genuinely treat you. Uh, so you're not going to be jumping into any sort of relationship moving forward. I just think that right now is the time where you're focusing on your personal life. You're trying to have as much fun as you can. You're trying to build yourself um, and dominate your life in the areas that you want to dominate. And uh, when it comes towards love, if something comes your way, you know, you'll be open to it, but you're not going to give it up for anybody. You see what I'm saying? Moving forward from this connection, you're not just gonna jump into a relationship with anybody, okay? People now need to prove their worth before Virgo invests. You see what I'm saying? All right, so now in regards to where energies are aligning between Virgo and the person they're dealing with throughout mid-May 2021, let's have a look. Where are energies aligning, please, between Virgo and the person that they're dealing with? We got here the Seven of Wands, so block for sure. We got here the Nine of Swords, we got here the Five of Pentacles, and then we have here the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so Virgo, if you haven't blocked this person already, it does feel to me like you probably will block them, especially if they come back towards you in mid-May. Uh, looking at the Nine of Swords to the Five of Pentacles, you've noticed such an absence of negativity once this person's been out of your life. You're like, my life has cleared up a lot, <laughs> you know? I don't feel negativity, I don't feel unhappiness, I don't feel stress and anxiety. I think that a lot of you guys are like, I just feel better, I feel happy, you know, Three of Cups. I'm having a joyous time right now without this individual. I think I am better off without them and I genuinely feel good about that. So you've noticed how much of an absence of stress and anxiety and irritation, it's just been such a huge absence of that ever since you haven't been around this person anymore. So yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're like, this is good being blocked away from this person. Because when I was stuck around with this person, I was constantly trapped. No longer do I feel trapped, I feel free. Five of Pentacles here to the Eight of Swords. You feel like you're no longer a prisoner of your mind. You feel like you're no longer a prisoner of negativity. Awesome, guys. In regards to the outcome, please, between Virgo and the person they're dealing with throughout mid-May 2021, what is going to be the overall outcome between Virgo and who they're dealing with throughout mid-May 2021? And we have here the Strength card. Yeah, you're taming the beast here. Um, if they do try to offer to come back, like I said, I think that's what they're going to do because they're going to show up here as gold, but they're pyrite, right? So with the temperance card being at play, they're going to show up. They're going to want to make peace with you. They're going to want to make things right again. Um, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Six of wands. Remember nine of wands, three of wands. What this person wants is they want success with their plan. Okay, nine of wands minus the three of wands creates the six of wands and the six of wands was at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this person's going to want things going according to their plan, but it's not going to go according to their plan. So that's extra confirmation, Virgo, of you turning this person down and uh, their plan not coming complete. All right. But like I said, you know, in regards to who you're connecting with here, I think they're going to show up as gold. Even though they're pyrite, they're gonna try their best to get back together with you, but I think you're gonna be so focused on your life right now, and I think you're acknowledging that you're in such a better place than you were when you were with them, that you're not gonna take this offer. You know, you don't wanna go back here, Virgo, 10 of wands. You don't wanna be trapped in that energy full of burdens and negativity. You wanna be surrounded by things that are genuinely healthy, things that are genuinely good for you. Uh, so at the end of the day, guys, I just wanted to give a little bit of, um, not a warning, but I wanted to touch base on this too. Um, Mercury, is gonna go retrograde at the end of May, May 29th, Mercury and Gemini. Uh, so there always is with Mercury, there tends to be a lot of people from our past that come back towards us. So I apologize if you're a Virgo and none of this reading makes sense or none of this reading resonates because you're not dealing with your past. I know that there are some Virgos that are gonna tune in and they're like, well, Ant, where's my new love? Where's my new person? You know, that's not exactly how tarot works. Unfortunately, I kind of channel whatever comes up and whatever comes up is what I read. You know, I can't purposely bring something up. I can't pull something out of nothing. So whatever um, energy I tap into is what I tap into. Also, keep in mind too, when readers do tarot readings for a certain sign, it's not going to apply to the entire sign. It's going to apply to a group within that sign. So for example, I'm not reading for all the Virgos, but I'm reading for a specific group of Virgos that are going through the same thing. So I just wanted to clarify that because I did see a comment, not on a Virgo video, a different Zodiacs video of somebody like, 
oh, well, I don't care about this past person. And I was like, okay, well, you know, you may have moved on, but there is still a group of your same Zodiac going through that issue. So until that gets cleared, you know, I know reading sometimes can be repetitive or it can be annoying to hear about the past or hear about the ex, but that's the energy coming up. And you know what? I think it's good to hear this and to see what your person was trying to do here so that you kind of know what their intentions were all along. And that kind of provides you more clarity here, Virgo, to continue moving forward since you're doing so good right now on your own, you're doing so good in your life. Um, I think that's something important to see. All right, all right, my Virgos, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in, man. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, if you're new here and you enjoy the content, definitely consider subscribing, I'd appreciate that. Uh, but with that all being said, guys, take care, enjoy the rest of your May, and I will catch you guys in June 2021. Much love, Virgo, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.